Hello, my warriors. How is it going? Welcome to another episode of Battletech Advanced 3062. Today, guys, we will be building something, and I'm very excited to see what we can squeeze out of the crab as well as... I think we had a Wolverine somewhere. Yeah, exactly. So, what we will do now is the following. We will drop the fire starters. Sorry, fire starters. You have done well so far. And we now take a look at our good old crab 44k. Why did I do that? Because I need components. I need to put some stuff into, into this crap to actually make it work. Now, let's go. The light engine is pretty cool here, but I think I want an XL so that the crap is faster. But the first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to... Uh, wait a second. Drop the large lasers and then max out the armor. This crap is going to be my next uh, my next flamer crap. I want to add as many flamers as I can in order to overheat enemies. And I can already see that we have some good stuff here. So there's the flamer plus. Deals 5 additional damage. I'd rather have the flamer deal more heat damage, but it's fine. Actually, let's check the store before we do that. Maybe we will find something there. Bunch of rifles. There's a mortar. Another mortar. Uh, SRMs, fusion core, e-cooling like crazy, and then just ammunition. So there's nothing there really that we want or need. As soon as I can find some arm mods, I will definitely also pick them up because that's basically the core of a build for what I have in mind here. I also put ferro fibers into this. There is gonna be the melee gyro. You know what? Why the hell not? And the cool thing is we have a lot of space and weight because we are mostly using support weapons here. So that's gonna be really, really cool. So what else uh, the thing that we do? We put the flamers in there. As many as possible, which are seven now, and this is the exact amount of flamers. We put the Guardian ECM for additional defense. And we want to put the biggest and best and, and absolute glorious test core that we can put into the crab because we want to make it fast. Yeah, this way the light engine is not enough anymore, so we have to go XL. Let's see. Uh, we have black mods. Uh, I mean, there's something. Uh, we should have an XL engine available. We don't have an XL engine available. All right. I wasn't prepared for that. All right. Okay, cool. That means that we have to actually go down with the tonnage, which means lowering the engine rating to a 300. Fine. Uh, what we could also do is we don't need heat sinks. We don't need heat sinks whatsoever. Absolutely not. Does that mean that we can go 340? It doesn't. No. Um... Yeah, that's the only way to, to build this here. But okay, we have a bunch of uh, medium laser hardpoints. I call them medium laser hardpoints because I'm gonna put medium lasers into that thing. Uh, let's use that thing. Uh, no pulses, just the regular mediums because there's also one thing that I want to do with it. Yeah, the head hardpoint is definitely gonna be filled with a flamer. Now we have two and a half tons left over that we're gonna use for putting a Beagle Active Probe into this. This not only gives us higher sensor on side range, but it also provides us an active sensor ping. So whenever we are not in range to actually punch people, we can easily use that Beagle Probe to uh, make that sensor ping happen. Or, now that I see that, by the way, there's another heatsink. Uh, no, there is no or. There is an end, and that end is gonna be jump jets, guys. We have a lot of them available here. And honestly, Hmm, wait, there's one thing. Saying one or, more, one or more components are invalid. Why? Why are they invalid? I need to know. So we got the Guardian ECM, we got the Beagle Pro. Both of them are really good. The Guardian gives us one defense, which is needed when we just jump around a lot and being on the front line. Um, but what is it we need? Let's confirm that. Oh, we require one more slot. Now that is a problem. Yeah. So, we cannot easily play it like this, only if we drop the ferro fibers out of this, which then reduces our weight that we have available. Um, is it the Beagle Probe that we are dropping? Or... Huh... It might be the Beagle that we are dropping here. Or it could be the Jump Jets. But you know what? I like the idea of a Jumping Crab. So, what we're gonna do now is, uh, we'll drop the Beagle. Sorry. Uh, and we add more jump jets to the bell to the build. Uh, we can get six, and I want all six of them. So, the medium laser in the center. Uh, I don't really want to drop that either, but I want maximum mobility on the craft. So that's it. That's how we roll. That's how we play. The lower arm and the hands are really good for melee accuracy, and that's what we do. So, 
Let's just go ahead and, and drop some of the jump jets in the legs. We're gonna split it up a bit. So that if something gets destroyed here, we still have some, uh, you know, some jump jets somewhere. So we are not losing all of them at the same time. Just in case, you know. Alright, that's pretty cool crap. I know, it's actually a pretty hot crap, if you th think about it like this. And then we have the Firehawk as well, with uh, not that many flamers, but enough flamers to overheat stuff. And we, of course, have the the SRMs filled with Inferno ammo. The next big thing that I want to do is, I want to check out the Omnifire starter here. Because I want to see what we can do out of this. Um, this thing already comes with two flamers built into the mech. And then an LRM-5, as well as a medium laser, and the PPC, as well as a Guardian ECM, C3 slave unit. Ooh. And a good chunk of heat sinks. Alright, the problem is that it comes with two already fixed double heat sinks, which uh, takes up a lot of tonnage here. But let's see how many flamers we can stick on the mag on top of this. Alright, this is looking interesting. Can we just, just get all the flamers on the mag? See, here's the thing. Um, if we put the Guardian over... Wait, what? Uh, over here. Really hard to put that in there. We have three hard points on the side torsos, two hard points on the arms, and those are Omni hard points. Means we can put any kind of weapon systems on there as long as the, the number count is straight. So, slave unit goes in the head. That's a lot of flamers, if you ask me. Problem is, we're going, going over tonnage there. Let me quickly do that, though. So, this is the maximum amount of flamers that I can put on the mag. It is. And it is 10. Wait. That's 6, that's oh, it's 12. We have 12 flamers on the single fire starter here. That's not bad at all! It comes with a 55 total melee damage. Um, do we want the arm accuracy? Do we need them? It doesn't cost us anything to keep it, so why, why not? But we are over tonnage with that, so... It's either the slave unit or the ECM that has to go, and I guess uh, if we drop the slave unit, we only have 1.5 tons that we need to drop here. Which would be the Guardian ECM, but I don't want to lose it. It would be cool if we could drop the doubles, but we can't, so what are we doing with this? Armor? Or... Pharaoh? With Pharaoh, we are... How many slots? Yeah, I know, we are still exceeding the maximum tonnage there. So if we drop, let's say, one flamer from this. We need eight additional slots, so that's not gonna happen. So Ferro Fibers is not an option. The maximum amount of flamers that I can get on the mag is ten, obviously. Well, uh, yeah, it's ten. Ten flamers still pretty good, I would say. And just the flamers. And with that, we have another half ton that we can utilize. So it could be a small laser. It could be a small laser. I think I want to do that, so let's go ahead and put a, a small over here. Do we take 10 or do we take 8? You know what, if we make the mech a bit more versatile, I think we do better. So, with that, I can easily take 4 small lasers and 8 flamers. And that should be enough. Now, we still have the problem of having half a ton of um, something to do here. Which brings me to the point where I'm thinking about um, maybe even adding nothing because I have no hard points left. Now, all of them are used up. So, the small lasers, I could upgrade one of the smalls to a medium, but I don't want to. I want to have all of the weapons. You know what? It's another flamer. I like symmetrical builds. But if it's that, if that's the way how we play it, then that's the way how we play it. Alright guys, we have a pretty cool fire starter Omni here. That's gonna be really good. Cool, so we have three mechs that are overheating. Now we need something more that has some punch to it. And this thing here will do the job just fine. Um, we don't need to heat uh, no, the jump jets on this thing. Uh, because it's gonna be a... Uh, it's gonna be something like a, a mid-range fire support. Because I wanna... I want to use this um, as a missile support mech. We have three energy and two missile hardpoints. It's not many in terms of the count, but we have uh, an XL engine, which is great because that reduces the weight a lot. We drop the pulse lasers here. We don't need them, but I want to keep those heat sinks. And now I'm thinking about what is it that I want to do with the thing? How many weapon systems do we have that actually make sense on the mech here? If I remember correctly, there was an MRM-20, which I like a lot, but we don't have any ammo to fuel it. So, 
We could just make it an SRM Brawler kind of type, which kind of makes sense to the playstyle that I have right now. Which means two SRM6s and then all the medium pulse lasers that we can acquire, which is basically resembling to the build that the Shadowhawk has already. But without the Inferno ammo, of course. Yeah, we have Streak ammo, we have Artemis SRM ammo. Do we have an Artemis uh, cockpit system? We do have an Artemis cockpit system. Alright, okay, so this thing is gonna be filled with Artemis ammo. I like that. We only have one bin though, so this is gonna be our like first first wave of attack and then the regular SRM ammo after that. Ignores two evasion pips and has a 100% increased critical chance. I like the idea of that. And then on top of that, the medium pulse lasers. Sure, let's go with that. Heat efficiency is over 9000 now. Which means, hmm, I could either put a bigger weapon system on the on the arm, which makes sense, getting the large pulse laser online, and then we drop a heatsink and we are good to go. This is beautiful. This is absolutely gorgeous. I like it. So this thing here is all about accuracy. We have the medium pulse, the large pulse, all of them having additional accuracy, and then SRM sixes with Artemis. This is looking great. We can also squeeze a little bit more performance out of this here when we add ferro fibers to the deal because um, it reduces the tonnage by one and a half. And with that, we might be able to bring back some of the jump jets just for a baseline mobility. The maximum amount is five. Hmm. Now that I think about that, uh, also you want uh, stability gyro, why not? Now that I think about that, we can technically just Reduce the heat management a little bit more to add two more heat uh, jump jets, and with that we have maximum mobility. All right, getting close is not gonna be an issue with this build. 66 um, compared to 73 is a good in terms of heat management. Our heat delta, the difference between them, is seven, and seven is absolutely manageable. All right, it's a core 275, which we can also bring up to a 280 if we want to. Um, I don't know if it even gets us somewhere. Um, is upgrading that... Does it make a difference? I don't know. It's the same weight. That's why I'm uh, saying that. We get a very minor speed increase there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take that. Why not? So, that's gonna be our Wolverine. Looking great, if you ask me. So, it's another close-range brawler that we can just, just throw into the fight. And I like the idea of that. So, wait a second, that's our masked hunchback coming in with the core 200, we have a 245 here. Uh, yeah, this Wolverine is gonna be fast, it's easily keeping up with the rest of what we have. Cool! I like that, guys, I like that a lot. This crab here, by the way, not really a crab that I like to play a lot because uh, the build itself, it's eh, rather meh. It has two pulses, which is good, and then the rest is mediums, but, you know, it's a, it's a mediocre crab. Anyway, uh, I want to take a look at my, my build order right now. We have one day for the training module and then I want to build something afterwards. So what we're going to be doing now is we will go to the store, take a look at our mechs that we have in here. And I think I'm just going to get rid of the fire starters as well as the Uziel now. The Uziel has five energy, one missile, two support. But, you know, it's just, it's just money for me right now. I don't need a 50 toner there. I have... A I have the feeling that I need the fire starters though. So, Cicada, goodbye. It's a lot of money, which gives us a good opportunity to build something after the training modules are ready. And now we're gonna navigate to the, the top of um, the Inner Sphere again. Or the top of our map. It's part of the Inner Sphere only. So, I wanna go ahead and I wanna take on like three and a half skulls. Can we get somewhere? Like here. That's uh, 41 days, unfortunately. But there's a flashpoint down there. It's two and a half though, we only get some uncommon items. It's a short engagement though, and our op four is Liao, and we will be playing for Steiner. Huh. Not a friend of that, I gotta say. Not a friend of that. So three and a half it is, we go up there. No, let's go to Espia. We have Marik, we have Liao and the pirates, as well as the government, which is uh, you know, factions that I wanna be playing for. Especially Marik and Liao, both in their combination. Just getting the the higher reps so that we can quickly go for four. Maybe four and a half, maybe even five skulls later. So, a thing that we definitely need is the power can do it. We need to repair them in order to get the better stuff online. This is the next basic, like the, the next gate that we have to cross in order to get better stuff online. 
So we're gonna be repairing that. Uh, and yeah, we still have 1.9 million. Probably going over two financial reports until we uh, until we arrive there. And here we're gonna send a medical team because we don't need anybody to be fixed up in the med bay right now. The penalty of 14 days will dissipate as well as soon as we arrive on the planet up there. And that well, won't be a problem. So let's keep going. Man, I cannot wait to bring my new crab, my flaming crab, on the battlefield. I also have the feeling that... Yeah, that's how we do it, maybe. Maybe we put a mask into that thing, getting it super fast. And then, uh, in conjunction with the fire starter, it, it's gonna be absolutely great. So, fire starter, crab, um, wolverine, I like to see that thing, shadowhawk, then our LB20 hunchback, as well as... Maybe the laser crab on top of that, as soon as we have the, the better uh, drop tonnage limitation and so on. Oh, this is gonna be glorious, guys. I think I wanna also focus on one of those things next. So, it's either the next mech bay or the, the, the drop tonnage limit that I wanna increase. So, let's check that out. Happy accidents, we're gonna get the triple F. Uh, okay, Yang, do your best. Morale is increased by one, and we get more tag points. All right, that's fine. I like that. Also, speaking of morale, I think I want to boost that thing as well at some point. At the moment, we only have a lounge for the people, and um, getting some of those uh, upgrades really gives you some very good stuff. Complete, boss. Okay, cool. Um, to actually boost your morale, and as a result, gaining more resolve in the end. It's two and a half million, right? Yeah, roundabout, so it's not there yet. But it's also two and a half. All right, all right, all right. I gotcha. I need something cheap to do right now. Let's get that garden going on. Let's get getting us another morale and we can get some nice events out of this. So, that's what it's going to be. Uh, we are fine, Darius. No worries. We have enough funds there still in order to get over the next financial report. So yeah, what was I talking about? Um, oh yeah, about the mor morale things. Um, my, my goal is to actually build a pinpoint power mech in the next, uh, you know, Let's say two episodes, because we are very close to um, getting uh, Tactics 9 on two of our pilots. We have uh, Wildfire, is that her name? And uh, Skinny, of course, both sitting at Tactics 8. And then there is also Sabercat, that also has Tactics 8 already. Which means that at some point, we can actually actually go ahead and uh, make the call shots to the head happen, keeping all the salvage on the board and then picking what we want from the battlefield. Alright... Supply and demand. We have a flashpoint. Darius calls you to the bridge. My contacts came through, Taylor. I got a lead on the door breath. A grainy image fills the view screen. What you're looking at is the Bauman Group distribution center on independence. Every scrap of exotic contraband that's been churning up on the black market has gone through this side. Samira nods thoughtfully. Sounds good, XL. I'll mark it on the star map. When we are ready to check it out, just let me know. One other thing, Commander. Darius pulls a dossier on the view screen. For 50,000 Seabills, I can arrange a portion of Bauman's security team to call on sick for the day of arrival. Okay, could save us some trouble when we follow up on this. Sure, I have 50,000. Let's do it. Darius dips his head in agreement. You got it, Taylor. I'll make an arrangement. Uh, Yang gives you a sidelong glance as the XO turns to go. And I'll go to prepare our salvage team. If this goes the way I hope it will, we stand to gain some pretty impressive hardware. Exotic weapons, strange new mechs, things I uh, i haven't even imagined yet. And knowledge yang, Farah adds, her eyes glittering with excitement. Knowledge and adventure, with the promise of more to come. Cool, we got a new flashpoint. Where is that flashpoint? Alright. Uh, so... Where? I, I don't see it. Can we stop here and have that flashpoint? Is, is it this one? No, it's a steel... Oh, the steel beast. Also pretty cool. Man. We can play the steel beast. Uh, so we are, we are here on the Argo, currently traveling. But we... Oh, it's down there? Really? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. All right. Um, Heartbreak and turn? Uh, I don't like the idea of that. So I'm almost there. You know what? I have a plan. I'm gonna follow my, my battle plan right now. I'm gonna get in there. 
get some more equipment, get some more stuff, because I I just want to play some missions right now. I mean, seriously. I don't want to turn around and just take forever until we get down there again. We are 20 minutes into the video and we haven't shot a single bullet yet, so that needs to get changed. We're gonna get there to Espia, we're gonna play a bunch of missions and start a flashpoint next time, I guess. Man, the travel completely killed me. Dude! I want higher scale tier stuff! We're almost completely out of cash. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Financial reports coming in. 600,000 is what we have left. No problem. For you, yeah, it's not 150. That's how to burn money, everybody. Getting up and down the star map all the time. Is the whole flashpoint area down there? Could you please let me know? Don't spoil me too hard, but... Hey, boss, do we even we get up in the... Waypoint reached, in the... Higher proximity there? Oh, man. All right. Let's take a look at the command center. And just to spice it up a little bit, I'm gonna try to get a big thing online here. Four Skull Ambush Convoy? Three Skull Assassination is also pretty good. You know what? We'll take that. It's gonna be glorious, guys. So, and for the max that we'll take today, it's definitely the Centurion. It's definitely the Shadowhawk. But we also have the Fire Crab. And we have uh, the Fire Starter. So, max and face. Have fun with those. Uh, we also... We also, also, also... Firehawk is probably gonna be... Mm, it's better off on somebody else, I think. But on who? I don't know. Might be still, it might be still a saber cat. Alright, let's go. Let's not overcomplicate thing. It's important that we get some missions done today. And gaining more and good salvage. At some point, we can uh, stop thinking about picking up mech parts and uh, actually going for specific better weapon systems. As soon as I find plus weapons now, I really need to consider them because I'm, I'm kinda quite on a plateau right now in terms of my power level. So, and I can branch out in two different ways, either getting bigger mechs or getting better weapon systems. And I think I wanna balance them out in a certain way so that I can advance in, in both ways. Uh, and uh, the more time passes, the higher skull missions you get, uh, the higher your MRB rating gets, the better weapon systems drop on the battlefield. So we have to keep an eye out for them in order to make our land stronger. Not only tonnage is the thing that you can uh, grow, it's also performance, right? So, assassination means we will most likely see either a heavy or even an assault mech here. And I want to see if we can somehow salvage them. Alrighty. Here we are. Here we go. All right. Watch the flank. Oh, enemies behind us, or at least behind the fire starter. This is so cool. Yeah, we have a punch bot there. All right, vindicator. I mean, they are in spawn protection, but that doesn't mean much. You know what? I'll, I'll just wait for them to make their move. Yep. It's fine. It's all calculated. More or less. I'm under heavy fire. Okay, and now it's time to move in. Commander? Oh, love that sprint. Copy that. It's a bushwhacker. Obviously, we have very little to do here. And therefore, we, we are gonna be done. This bushwhacker is actually quite evasive. Look at that. Standing by. So, we have to use Sabercat to instantly go no for a sensor ping here. Oh. If I ever want to hit this thing, we have to remove some of his evasion. Let's go. Is that the government noble? No, the government noble is down there, somewhere, in the dark. Good! Ready for orders. Ready for orders. We can shoot the... Vindicator. Mm, face, 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 face. You are not in a good spot there. Not really. And I mean, it doesn't really matter what we do with the crab here, because the crab needs to get close. And the medium lasers here... They both hit, which is nice, but... We don't need to overthink the two yes, medium commander. lasers here. This is a different story. Let's move the Centurion up down here and carefully choose our targets. And I think I found my target already. We choose five times. Last time we learned that five times is very unlikely to jam the weapon. And that's a PPC down. Guard a critical hit. Perfect. You have orders? Skinny following up on that. Let's go. Throttle down, moving out. And we shoot the AC-20 with a slug. Let's wreak havoc. Or not hit at all. Reporting. Critical hit. Nice. And cold fire. You, you know what? 
We'll do the exact same thing Go here again. Because maybe we'll be able to push the Bushwaka back in initiative with a punch or something next round. Uh, didn't work so uh, so well, so it's a cluster here. All weapons are go. Uh, I didn't get any crits, but he's unsettled. And we have turn one movement. That's good to know. So there is an assault mech on the battlefield, or maybe a tank hiding somewhere. Receiving you. Anyway, let's keep going. So, a thing that I'm not happy about is that we don't have enough resolve to make a precision strike. But, we might be able to overheat the guy. Let's go. Oh, AMS, obviously. Huh? Getting rid of our missiles here, our Inferno missiles. Well, let's see. The Vindicator is acting first, which is great, because that means that we can follow up with one of those Firestar Omnis. Perfect. Oh, oh, one of our heat max. Receiving you. Okay. You're still too far Get away. Oh wait, no, you're not. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, this is looking great. On my way. I like that. So here comes the punch. 55 damage. That's an opening. And now like all of the support weapons. Oh, the micro punch bot. It's not a micro, it's a mini punch bot. And he is about to overheat, but he is not completely shut down. Ready for order. That gives us FaZe, but FaZe is not quite there. Oh my god, alright. So FaZe, you have another task to do now. No, also not possible. Okay, in that case, we're gonna make something happen. Okay. We're gonna use somebody which has an impact on this. 33%, not great. How might I help? 22, also not great. Wait a sec. Oh, uh, you're one pip short of punching him. But anyway, we go point blank. And we shoot a cluster of LB20 into him. Uh, actually, LB10. Let's go. I want to get rid of weapon systems here. That arm bears a lot of them. Actually, one SRM. There's more where that came from. Anyway. <gasps> he is pushed back, of course! We point? had a successful melee attack. Right. Oh, wow, this is gonna be a tough That's shot fine. for us. Let's go. Let's go anyway. Please don't hit your friends. Yes, Commander. Just a bit. Man, I wanted to go... I wanted the ammo to go boom, but we didn't get it. Ah, oh, crap. That was a heavy hit, Commander. Yeah, it's fine. Alright, anyway. I mean, we have to finish this guy as well, right? So, might as well do it. Going with a breaching shot? We don't need it, technically. No, he's not in cover. There we go. Down goes the Bindi. Mech destroyed. Okay, we still have face. He cannot do much here. Oh, sadly. Just sprinting in. Probably not even shooting the lasers. Uh, it's too risky shooting our friends in the back. Although... You know what, I'll take the shot. Maybe it's enough to actually get the ammo go explode. Okay, missing both of them. Was a bit of a gamble here. Getting some team damage or not. But I was willing to take it. What's the Bushwhacker gonna do? He's under heavy fire. Ooh, 65 toner, it's a heavy. Not bad. Uh, yeah, but the Bushwhacker. It's too hot. Okay, he's intimidated. He is still critical. Ammo explosion avoided. And the missiles. Alright. So we have our fire remakes on the front line. We have um, the crab here. We have the fire starter and the fire hawk. Okay, so it's it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Saber cat, however. Receiving you. Are you punching? Um, you are punching, yes. Heading out. That's a hit! That's an LB10 off the board. Maybe it's enough heat to actually get him down. He's also now unsteady. Cool. It's not enough. But it was something. Uh, which also means that he's gonna act first. Because uh, the AI prioritizes getting the unsteady mechs and then knocked on mechs back into action. Alright. So I need the crab. The punchy crab with the flamers. Let's go. Seven flamers to come. 
Finally, we only have 50 melee damage. This is not much. Right, almost, almost shutting down. But hey, I now see that we have two heavies and one assault mag. It's an 80 tonne on the board. Good to know, good to know. Good to go. And good to go, obviously. So, more punching. This thing is gonna kill this guy now. And if he doesn't kill, he's just gonna completely overheat. Oh yeah, Max, yeah, good at that. And Vargas are running XL engines, as far as I can remember. Right? Yeah. Which means that he is about to die. One shot, and he's done for. Anyway. I'll... Hmm. I'm here. I'm here, yeah. I'm gonna bring you over there, because again, we don't need much. And I want you to cool down and get out of recoil. So, here's what we do. We hit the walker with only one single medium laser to the side. That wasn't enough. We didn't hit the side, that was critical. So, somebody else has to do it. Basically doing the same things here. Running a little bit to the flames. Ooh, okay, that's a lot. One small laser to rule them all. And that inspired us. Oh, the commander took the shot. And everybody's like, Yay, commander, good job, man. Um, right, let's sprint. Good thing is that the enemies don't have any locks on us anymore because, you know, they don't see us anymore. Alright, the assault mate coming close. And here's the thing, I want to reserve completely. Uh, the mystery enemy in the back, our local government noble, seems to be turn 3 enemy. Whatever that might be. It might be that it's a medium mech, it might also be a heavy mech with a master tactician, or a cyclops with a master tactician that is a turn 3. As far as I can remember, cyclopses have, or there's one variant that has a, a bonus to initiative. So, yeah. Ready for orders. Uh, let's go in. Got it. Hey, Sabercat. We see a Zeus as well as a Jägermech. Ah, uh, this Jägermech has to go instantly. I'll go in with all of my direct damage. It's two Ultra 5s, medium pulse lasers, and two AC 2s. I don't want any of that at all. If I can avoid it. Moving fast. All right, cool. So here we go. Shooting, not a cluster, but a definite, a solid slug at the guy. I want to punch a hole into his armor. I mean, we did. But the slug, I don't know where that went. To his center? I think we hit this guy here. Oh yeah, we hit the leg, I believe. Seems like it. Ready for orders. Alrighty. Alright, here's what we do. We're gonna use the fire starter to start, obviously, the fire. But on the... Uh, on the Zeus. And the small lasers are fighting... The Jagermech. Here we go. I wanna shut the Zeus down because I'm here for salvage. And... I wanna destroy his escort. We're engaging from the good side here, which is the left side. Couldn't get him crit. Receiving you. Same thing here. Ooh. Okay, so I gotta make... I gotta, I gotta make my decisions now. I'm bringing in Skinny first, because the Hunchback is made for killing, and uh, maybe we can do something here. Shooting everything, and hoping for a kill. We got him. Good. I mean, I wouldn't mind the Jäger mech myself. This is a pretty beautiful mech. But if I can get a Zeus, I will get a Zeus. Now, Face is now free to go up here. And shoot all of the flamers into the Zeus. And then we have to do some decisions afterwards. Shouldn't have shot the mediums there, by the way. But maybe it's enough damage now that he also gets some panic on the mech. On the, on the pilot, even. Alright, wildfire. You can just chill this round, doing nothing. And here we go. It's our turn. Ready for orders. All right, Sabercat, I want you to give him a clean shot to the face, all right? Here we go. 6.4 is not bad. I'm gonna also go Inferno here. This is just for stressing this guy out. He's getting 88 additional heat, which is, you know, not a thing that he really gets, but he takes it. All right. Let's bring in the big guns then. 
Point blank, AC-20, AC-10, both of them, two to face. It might be possible. All weapons are go. No. No, we will probably destroy that thing. There's one more chance that we can ahead, think Commander. about, which is, um... Yes, Commander. Going in his back. Lifting off. Like this. And opening up from behind, so that we get some crits on the center. I copy. Pew pew pew. Need is critical. Uh, this point, I think I'm gonna reserve this. No, it doesn't make sense. Copy that, Commander. Alright, please don't destroy. Blah! We shoot this. Roger. That was too much in the end. Enemy eliminated. Alright, enemy eliminated. Doesn't matter, Receiving because you. we are still here to do something. And I want to keep engaging, so the crab's gonna move, jump, jump, move. Uh, we have a bit of a problem with heat here, so maybe uh, just a double heat sink kit uh, with no additional heat sinks altogether might be a good idea for the crab in you the end. Orders? So skinny, hmm, gotta get down there somehow. Right, we have to run, run all yeah. the way. At this point, I don't care so much about bringing all of my mechs down there at the same time. We are facing but one enemy. It's a 40 tonner that is engaging us directly, so that's how we do it. Cool. So we can see him. It's a cicada, but we cannot shoot him. So that's what we do with Saber Cat, obviously, I'm going in with the sensor lock, getting rid of some of his evasion. And now, Ready for the crab can scuttle forward. Uh, it's not quite there. Alright. We do that then. And we're done. And now we're gonna Waiting use the others orders. as well. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's move. I wanna try something here. We really hope that we are fast enough with the fire starter, so we're gonna use Vigilance to push back the max into turn four, next round. Waiting for orders. Uh, and then we're gonna do some shenanigans. I. Actually, you know what? No shenanigans to be made here. We are going all in. Sure. What's this what's holding us back? Really? Primary target is taking damage. We can destroy, we're gonna destroy. That hit something good. Yeah, and cicadas are very lightly armored. What's the plan? Skinny, get back on high ground. No? Alright, get to low ground. That's fine. Here we go. Done with that. And then cold fire, obviously, trying to also get into position. And I, you know what? I'm not gonna shoot anything here. Because the hit chance is pretty bad, so I'll be... Yeah, I'm not doing that. The target is retreating, Commander. He is trying to retreat, but you know what? He's not gonna get far. Because here comes the fire starter, and he's gonna push him back in initiative. All of my medium mechs now have the opportunity to shoot at him. Because he is a turn two. And maybe he's gonna die now. He's a turn one. Never mind. The knockdown also gets us another point of initiative. Or him another point of initiative. Deduct it. Great. Cool. Standing by. Yeah, Saber Cat, just Let's do move. what you have to do. Um, shoot his leg. We got him. Also, he's blowing up in the fiery ball of death because the Inferno missiles are just giving him big impacts and everywhere are splashes of napalm coming out of the warheads and igniting the surroundings. Mission successful. Great. That was a good job from everybody. I do think that we can easily take on the Four Skull as uh, Ambush Convoy mission. Easily. Alright, what do we take here? I would say a bunch of Jägermech parts, because I like a good old Jägermech DD. And the other mechs are not really interesting for me. The Bushwhacker might be, but let's see what we can take in terms of uh, weapon systems. An Ultra Auto Cannon 5, hell yeah. Ooh, or maybe a bigger core. That's a core to my liking, I gotta say. It's right between the 340 and the 300 that we have there. And I want to stick to a fast uh, cavalry-type gameplay right now. This Ultra 5 could also be really handy. As soon as we build this Jäger mag, of course. You know what? I'll take that. I'll take it. So, we get Vindicator as well as Cicada, as well as AC2, LRM, Medium Pulse, Laser, PPC, Small Laser, Ferro Fibers, and LB10 Ammo. I would say that was good. Cool, guys. Um, 
only one only one fight today because we took a good chunk of time of our video today repairing rebuilding and traveling i hope you enjoyed this episode next time we will continue our journey and if you did like the video then it would be very much appreciated if you would leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want more of that and i hope to see you guys next time goodbye